uh, here is the, it's a not-for-profit association based in Paris, which was created 30 years ago uh, with a mission to bridge the gap between space and society. And uh, frankly speaking, 30 years ago, this was quite visionary uh, because at that time, certainly we could hardly uh, anticipate all the, the challenges that would arise from the, the broader use of, uh, of uh, space-based solutions in our everyday life. And I'm very happy and proud today in my capacity of uh, Secretary General of Eurasia to salute the vision that our funders had at that time. A few years ago, space was inaccessible to most of the people, but space evolved and contributes to the general economy agriculture, the blue economy, the digital economy, in mobility and environmental management, space application in healthcare, telemedicine and pollution monitoring. And who could have thought that space application could serve culture? Space is entering in a new area never imagined. GNSS-based space imagery options as a supporting tool to draft social and economic policies are irreplaceable. Eurasia has been working along these lines for 30 years now, and I, I, I'm quite convinced that it has kept all of its relevance uh, today, putting space-based capacities to work in the best possible manner for the benefits of citizens in Europe and around the rest uh, of, the, of the world. Eurasia is an association whose members comprise mainly space agencies around Europe, as well as some research institutes, offices and departments. Our purpose is to promote the benefits of satellite application in sectors that may have nothing to do with space. We have embarked on a program how satellite application can benefit all of us. Our motto encapsulates what we do. Acting collectively to bridge space and society. We push the doors. We are only beginning. And we are pioneers.